the comparison of domestic and international standards for sewage and wastewater quality standards and the recent trends in sewage and wastewater treatment. Since the 1970s, Korea has been rapidly industrialized and urbanized. Due to water pollution and depletion of water resources, treatment facilities for proper treatment of sewage and sewage have been constructed. Currently, most sewage and sewage generated by point pollutants such as the living and industrial sectors have been treated at the disposal facilities below the allowable standards stipulated in the Act and are discharged into public areas. The water quality standards of discharge water are changing over time. Moreover, the technology of high water treatment for sewage and sewage is also changing and developing as water shortage and water pollution problems continue to arise compared to the high water and sewage penetration rates. First, I will introduce various wastewater treatment technologies for water quality management after comparing the water discharge criteria in Korea and abroad. First, let's take a look at Korea's discharge water quality standards. Korea's water quality standards are largely divided into emission allowances and discharged water quality standards. The discharged water quality standards are subdivided into wastewater treatment facilities and public sewage treatment facilities. Looking at the changes in Korea's water quality standards, Korea's treatment facilities were concentrated due to rapid industrialization and urbanization since the 1970s. The effluent water quality standards of treatment facilities are gradually strengthening. In the past, the management was focused on organic substances such as BOD and since the mid-1990s, additional standards for nutritional substances such as nitrogen and phosphorus have been set and managed. Facilities have also been greatly expanded. First, let's take a look at the discharge water quality standards of public sewage treatment facilities. The water quality standards are divided into BOD, COD, total nitrogen, and total phosphorus. Effluents from sewage treatment facilities have higher nutrient content than discharged water, even if discharged below the legal standard. Therefore, proper management is required because they increase the nutritional status of receiving rivers and lakes. In the effluent standard of sewage treatment facilities, the total nitrogen category was set to 60 mg L in 1996, but was strengthened to 20 mg L in 2002, and now 20 mg L is applied to all facilities over 50 cubic meters d. The total phosphorus standard was increased from 8 mg L in 1996 to 0.2 to 4 mg L in 2012. In other words, since 2002, the total nitrogen standard has not changed much, while the total phosphorus standard has been strengthened up to 10 times. The reason why the total nitrogen standard cannot be strengthened further is that the total nitrogen removal rate is lower and the effluent load is relatively higher than the total phosphorus. In order to reduce the total nitrogen, existing facilities and technologies have limitations in processing, and therefore, there is a need for stable treatment technology and integrated facility improvement that can meet these requirements in order to strengthen the standard. The following are the facility generates water quality standards of livestock wastewater treatment facilities, livestock wastewater COD if the burden of high nutritive salts, compared to the burden with. Currently, systematic research for purifying livestock wastewater is scarce in Korea, and in most cases, it is constructed and operated through active slurry process that focuses on removing suspended solids and carbon-based organic matter. In order to meet the enhanced environmental standards, we often imitate the design standards of developed countries or introduce facilities that have not yet been verified for performance. Considering that the total concentration of nitrogen and phosphorus contained in Korea's livestock wastewater treatment facilities discharge water quality standards is higher than that of developed countries. It is predicted that it will be strengthened continuously in the future and the introduction of additional processes to remove the nutrient. The following is the discharge water quality standard in Japan. In Japan, sewage treatment facilities set SS, BOD. 
and E. coli as management indicators among living environment items that cause households to be polluted. The criteria for each item are suggested as pH 5.88.6, SS 40 mg L or less, total coliform group 3000 cm3 or less. Apart from this, the public sewage manager can set the planned discharge water quality for BOD, total nitrogen, and total phosphorus pollution. Japan has adopted a system to regulate discharge and prevent water pollution by setting discharge water quality standards for livestock waste disposal. In addition, Japan is different from other countries in that several laws deal with environmental pollution caused by livestock manure. The items that are closely related to livestock raising are hydrogen ion concentration, biochemical oxygen demand, chemical oxygen demand, and suspended solids. The following is the U.S. standard for discharged water. The U.S. sets the water discharge water quality standards for public sewage treatment facilities and wastewater treatment facilities that emit pollutants according to the licensing procedure of the National Pollutants Emission Reduction System, NPDES. NPDES does not distinguish public sewage treatment facilities from individual wastewater discharge facilities. In other words, according to the survey, there is no specific standard for discharge water from sewage and wastewater. And, as you can see in the table, the U.S. treatment facility licensing standards vary by week and month from the 7-day average to the 30-day average. The following is the European Union's water discharge standards. The European Union's treatment facility discharge water standards do not separate sewage and wastewater discharge water quality standards. If you look at the table, you will notice that the hydrophilicization sensitivity of the water receptor system varies by item. And the standards are applied differently depending on the amount of contaminants released into the water system. In addition, discharge water standards and removal efficiency are applied simultaneously, and some items are applied differently depending on the unit of contamination. The following table shows the country-specific discharge water setup system and if you look at the table, the setup system shows that Korea and Japan do not have a specific setup system, and Korea differentiates the guns by region. The US has the NPEDS licensing system, and the European Union has a setup system that meets the target quality. If you look at the items, the U.S. and European countries apply item monitoring and ecological toxicity monitoring methods to all items that may be introduced to manage harmful substances. And the U.S. is fine-grained about nitrogen. Next, the BODCODSSTNTP is included in the items in all four countries, and Korea also includes the total coliforms and ecological toxicity. The following table shows the differences in the country discharge criteria. They. Water quality standard of discharge water in Korea is classified by region for total coliforms BODCODTP among facilities over 500 M3 slash day. In the case of the US, Germany and Japan, various different standards are applied, including the regional water system characteristics, and the processing capacity by the size of facilities. Comparing domestic and foreign water discharge water quality standards, Japan generally has similar water quality standards to Korea, and sewage treatment facilities require stricter water discharge standards. In the U.S., water quality standards such as BOD and TSS are eased compared to Korea, and standards are different from state to month. In the European Union, Water quality standards such as BODCOD are eased compared to Korea, but the removal efficiency is applied at the same time and some items are applied differently depending on the unit. Next is the technologies of wastewater treatment. First, it is a sewage treatment plant that minimizes energy consumption. It's a sewage treatment plant that uses less energy and space to produce large amounts of biogas. Improve efficiency by renovating existing wastewater facilities and using this technology can reduce costs by up to 20% by providing sludge concentrates apart from conventional deposits. In the event of a heat wave, 
you can reduce the energy required by up to 40% to minimize energy consumption. The VLR tank in the picture is used to maximize the absorption of the dissolved BOD. The following is a sewage treatment technique by the Australian Oxidizer. It is a sewage treatment system by oxidizing hole that has better BOD reduction capability than conventional sewage treatment system, which does not require much space and has biological curiosity. High efficiency blow up systems using low speed blow up devices have the advantage of low energy input. The speed in the actual waterway remains at 0.3 ms. By using this technique, a significant amount of nitrogen and phosphorus compounds can be removed. It actually used in paper mills, textile dyeing factories, and food processing plants can also in food processing plants. Finland's Oxtube technology injects oxygen into the sewage treatment plant. This technology is used to carry out water treatment process. It is fast, efficient, easy to adjust and install pH, and takes up less space. This technology, which is mainly used to control pH or sulfide, and treat wastewater, is divided into four processing processes. First, the module draws in gas, mixes it with water, oxygen, and other air, and then the diffusion module creates a vortex and increases the speed at which it mixes. In the next step, the impact module creates a high-speed flush which can be rapidly dissolved by diffusion. Finally, the micro-bubbling module expands the diffusion space to complete the melting process. The following is a wastewater treatment technology. The first is the Netherlands Anaerobic Wastewater Treatment Biogas Production Technology. With over 25 years of field-proven technology, equipment can be installed in urban areas, and can be installed in all indoor and outdoor countries. Also, all kinds of industrial wastewater treatment are possible. It is also a technology that can efficiently remove biological sulfides, nitrogen, COD, sulfate, and chromium. Biogas generated in the processing process can also be generated and used. The following is a wastewater pretreatment system using Japanese agglomeration. Unlike conventional commercial agglomeration systems, water contaminants are not only reduced, but also concentrated wastewater that is difficult to collect can be treated. It's about 73% cost savings and does not affect water pollution. Finally, it is Chinese technology to treat wastewater using the aquatic plant, beetle rice. It is a technology that converts nitrogen and phosphorus into high-quality biomass by growing small fryer rice in wastewater. This technology can combine bioenergy production and wastewater treatment. Since the beetle rice has the phosphorus absorption capability, adding an elastic additive to wastewater will produce a 56% nitrogen removal efficiency. Based on the wastewater treatment technologies of the advanced countries, the current trend in water treatment technology is developed and developed in four major ways. The first is the removal of nutrient removal. The biological process is a system that uses microbes to break down organic pollutants from wastewater. Microorganisms metabolize nutrients, colloids, and dissolved organisms to treat wastewater. The growth of excess microbes is removed from wastewater treated by the physical process. Biological processes are preferred because they are cost-effective in terms of energy consumption and chemical use. Next is energy positive. Energy consumption for urban wastewater treatment accounts for 15% to 30% of operating costs in large treatment facilities and 30% to 40% in smaller facilities. Energy is required throughout the wastewater treatment process and throughout the facility, and there are generally air, pump, and solids management operations that account for the largest share of the utility's energy use. Energy is one of the three most expensive items in the wastewater facility operation and management budget. The demand and cost of this energy for wastewater utilities continue to increase due to a number of factors, including First, reducing energy consumption in wastewater treatment processes Second, 
increased energy recovery from internal sources finally, three value measures are needed, such as adding enough external renewable energy sources. Smart markets are increasingly looking to provide optimized information for each consumer. The traditional smart meter market used to be deployed only for the preservation of electrical energy, but this technology has expanded into the water and gas markets and is now used by many companies to apply the smart meter market to the water industry. Singapore has been suffering from water shortages. Since the 1970s, the Singaporean government has been studying ways to secure water resources at the national level. Commercial and business buildings have launched the new water plan, a water resource supply that meets a high level of processing water called NE water, or drinking water quality index. The water treated at the four NE water plants is 10% water for drinking, 70% for industrial use, 20% for cooling in commercial areas, and 20% for self-purifying and reusing the sewage in parks located in the city. It is responsible for 30% of Singapore's total water needs and aims to supply half 50% of its water needs to any water by 2060. The sewage collection method using underground sewage tunnels is energy efficient and costs less, so Singapore plans to use it over the next 100 years. WF21 has been developed using the groundwater revision GWR to overcome chronic water shortages in Orange County, Southern California, U.S.A. With an average annual precipitation of only 300 mm GWR consists of membrane filtration and high oxidation process. The system uses a three-stage processing process, including reverse osmosis which is used by bottled water manufacturers as well as advanced oxidation treatment. They collect highly treated sewage and purify it to a level that meets state and federal drinking water standards. And the reverse osmosis system, a key system that converts water into drinking water, has a recovery rate of 85%. As we saw above, most developed countries regulate their total nitrogen standards at 10 mg L. Total nitrogen management is an important part of preventing nutrient subsistence in public water related to eutrophication and algae. In order to remove the nutrient salts, an altitude treatment process must be established downstream and a physical and chemical treatment process must be carried out at the rear of the wastewater treatment facility as necessary. But if the total nitrogen standard is strengthened, it is not easy to meet the standard in existing sewage treatment plants. Therefore, it is necessary to supplement and improve existing high-level processing technologies and apply the pre- and post-processing processes. The US and the European Union have applied different items and standards depending on their size and different seasons. Therefore, it is necessary to differentiate the water discharge standard according to size and season. Also, winter and average water quality standards should be reviewed to reflect operational control limits, such as reduction of processing efficiency by season by size, concentrated rainfall, etc. In addition, the US and EU apply water-based concentration and elimination rates at the same time. Therefore, we believe that it is necessary to apply additional treatment efficiency standards to improve the efficiency of treatment from the concentration-oriented water discharge water quality standards. In order to provide cleaner and safer water to the people, the water treatment system has evolved from traditional water treatment to advanced water treatment, and the water management technology has become integrated and intelligent. The water management policy varies according to the country's conditions and our country has recently made a big change in its policy by unifying water management. In order to solve the problem, we can see that the trend of water management technology continues to change according to the trend of wastewater as the environment changes.